Okay, so there's a box in front of us, and without wasting any time, I'm just going to dive right into this. So you should read my chair. Okay. I should actually use my other camera so I can fit more into this frame. Actually, should I actually do that and cancel this video? No, no, I'll keep going. If I start, I might as well. I might as well just keep going. Don't have a ton of time here. Some other things I need to do, so let's just try and keep this compared to the quick. Yeah, going out of the frame already. So I should use a camera with a bigger frame in the first place. But I did not. Okay. So you can see it's U line. There's a paper. Well, Second, I think you already know based on the accessory of the other day. And uh, here it is iPhone 6S Plus. Is this really a 6S though? Yes, it says. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. Obviously, yes, it is. It clearly says 6S it on the Sony. Now let's just hope this is actually 128 gigabytes, because if it's not, then it's going straight back to the seller. Going right back. And yes, this is it. This is supposed to be rose gold. Yes, yes, I know. You can form your opinions. Think whatever you want. But you know what? It just looked the best to me, alright? It just did. So that's why I just went with it. Why does this button feel so stiff? Oh, that's because it has plastic on it. I don't know. Do I want to take it off or do you want to leave it in? Actually, no. I think I'll just honestly leave it in place for now because I don't want to have an adequate screen protector. So I'll do just that. It's just leave it in place. Now, well, let's boot it up. Okay. I should also say this is my first iPhone ever, so if I'm doing something stupid like not knowing where the power button is, just cut me some slack. Some major slack. Maybe it's dead. Yeah, I think it's dead. Well, see the thing about its accessories on the other day because it does not look. Oh, 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 oh! There we go. There we go. But you should have to actually use a larger camera for this. And with a bigger frame. So we can see more. I should turn off that annoying glare. I know it's going to make the video look kind of dark, but hey, whatever. He's going to be staring at an obnoxious glare the whole dang time. No sim install, well, of course not. Focus on that so it's going to look a little better. And here I am with another day. By far, out of all the operating systems I set up to date, which would be BlackBerry 10, Windows Mobile, and now iOS. iPhones are by far the most difficult if you want to just use them like say an iPad or a tablet or whatever. The reason being is that you forcibly have to put a SIM card into it. Those bogus methods that you see online about oh call I don't know I think like, what was it like 112 or 911 and they quickly press the home button or whatever. No 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 don't do things like that. That's dangerous. Thankfully I have enough sense not to obviously do things like that or use this secret trick or whatever. So this website no whatever. They're just bogus. The reality is is that you have to put a SIM card into it at least for the activation process. And then once that's all entirely done you may take it out and use it as an iPod if you wish to do so. So... Now, as you know, my other phone uses a micro SIM, and I think, I'm not sure what the Lumia honestly uses, 
Is it micro SIM or nano SIM? I don't know. At this point, I still don't know. But anyway, the point is, is that these things use nano SIMs. I think most of modern smartphones do anyway. I, mean, I think maybe it's only those that are from like 2013, maybe some from 14 that use it. Now, rather than going out with more boring things, it's just sign into this thing. But all I just wanted to say is that honestly, that was such a pain. Okay, so now that I finally have it set up, I'm just going to take this out of the picture so I can key in my word and just browse around. Just show you the back. Now, in regards to this thing being pink, it does not actually look pink at all. So for those of you that were thinking, well, I don't know, I want this color, but I'm worried about looking overly feminine. Well, the good news is that it won't. Because honestly, to me, it actually looks bronze. Hardly ever does it look pink. I know if you look at it from some angles, it might slightly give off a pinkish vibe, but for the most part to me, I don't see that. I just don't. So, well, for some, that might be a big disappointment. But for others, well, I guess you might rejoice. And that, too, is also another sign that is also legitimate. We also did sign in and, like, looked around, checked the app store and the certain specifications to make sure it's legit. That I hear that for a lot of these uh, fake clones is that the pink actually looks very vibrant. Like, it actually looks more so, like, pink than these legitimate versions. It's not supposed to look like I know there are some knockouts that do have this similar shade, but for this one, it helps that it did not look like that. Now, let's turn it back over again. Hopefully, it didn't just... Do have to sign... Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. They lock so darn quick. I think there's a way you can fix this. Okay. Just get it into... Not skin mode because that's just more desirable. Is this thing in the frame? Yeah, it's in the frame. So, yes, now part of the iOS fam, I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't really feel like it because I've been using Black Virgin for years and Windows 10. I've been using it since last year in August. So, the only operating system now, mobile operating system, I should say, that I haven't tried extensively yet would be Android. Okay, I guess you can go into general, let's take a look at some things. Is there anything confidential that I need to black out? No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I mean, I want to check, I want to show the storage. Where, where do I find that again? VPN not connected. Oh, here we go. So, this was indeed 128 gigabytes. I was kind of concerned about that. But it turned out that it was. So, it's actually real. It has 128 gigabytes to advertise. And I can't complain too hard. Now, I do need to set certain things at the camera and maybe like some of the other functions like the gyroscope, if I can pronounce that right. So once I test those other functions and features, then I can fully determine whether or not I'm actually 100% satisfied with this purchase. But for the most part, I think I'm satisfied with what I'm seeing. Like, it, it looks good. It feels good. It's not terribly scratched or anything. Actually, hardly any part of it is scratched. Really. I think the only part of this maybe... Hold on a second, this isn't even in the frame, and I don't know if you'll even see this. Let's activate the lights. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you're going to see that scuff. No, you won't see the scuff thanks to that obnoxious glare. But this is probably the only part of this just mildly scuffed, and I don't care too much about that at all, because it's just really hard to notice. So for a used phone, it's in wonderful condition. Now I just have to learn how to use this operating system a little bit better. Did you like this video? Do you have a plus size iPhone? If so, which one? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to participate in the polls in the top right corner of the eye circle and run away from this annoying song. <laughs>